I have been looking forward to this tutorial for a long time. If you've ever seen images of black light shoots, they are amazing. A friend of mine who is also a photographer and a model as well sent me some images that she found online of a black light shoot, actually several different black light shoots, and they're simply amazing. Um, again, just do a Google search for black light shoots and you'll see what exactly what I'm talking about. I have done them before. I did one with some kids one time, one with one of my other models where we just kind of splattered some fluorescent paint on her face um, and then we did some shoots like that. I also did a powder shoot that was supposed to be black light but black lights are, at least the black lights that I have, um, were so weak, they weren't very strong, they didn't project the light out very far that I had to actually add in some regular light to kind of be able to take the images that I wanted. So I kind of lost the effect of the black light with this particular shoot. So after she sent me those images, I'm like, well, you know, I got to see if I can find another way to make a black light shoot work. And I have stumbled across a method that I think will work out perfectly. So for my shoots, my prior black light shoots, I would use these. And these are actually black lights. They're not simply the blue party lights, but they are actually black lights. I have about three or four of those. And I have about three or four of these light receptacles that you can put it into and then clamp the lights wherever you want to. Even with three or four of those, I wasn't able to get the light bright enough uh, to kind of accentuate the paint on the models. I had to have the lights relatively close. And obviously with the lights being set up on a clamp, you can't really move them around. So I was trying to find a way that I could turn a regular flash into a black light. Um, I did a little research online. I can't claim that I've come up with this method. I actually saw this method uh, for turning a smartphone into a black light, but I think it will work for a flash. So for flashes, you can set them off camera or have them on your camera. And obviously you can change the um, power level of the flash and move around as need be. And my goal was to make this into a black light. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing you're going to need is some transparent film or some transparent paper. This is 3M copier paper. It's relatively old. In our day, this was kind of used for overhead projectors. Maybe I'm dating myself and giving my age away. Um, but that is what they're used for, just clear, transparent film. You don't need a whole box of them. One sheet will be plenty. And then after that, you're going to want to get a blue Sharpie and a purple Sharpie. So blue and purple. What you're going to want to do is to take your film and to cut it into strips that will cover the front of your flash. Um, and you need three of these strips. So after you have three of these strips, what you want to do is take one strip and you want to paint it um, blue or color it blue with the Sharpie. And I'm going kind of fast just because this is a tutorial and I'm not taking as much care as I probably should, but you get the idea. Kind of set it aside, let it dry and do another blue one as well. And you don't need to do it on both sides. Just one side is enough. Set that aside. Let that dry. And then your last one, you want to do as purple. And I'm doing this super fast and it's super sloppy. If you do do this, take your time. Get it nice and covered. Alright, so you get the idea. Let those dry. After they dry, what you want to do is stack them, one on top of the other. It doesn't really matter where they fall, um, just as long as you have them all stacked. Tape them together, and then with my flash, I have a little diffuser that pops down. Um, I've made one earlier, which is right here, and I just pop it underneath my diffuser, or you could tape it to your flash, and you're good to go. And if you watch some of my other tutorials, you might have seen I have this gel set that I've got. 
Um, I, they come from Roscoe and they have a whole bunch of different colors in them. And fortunately enough, they actually have the two blue or at least two blue and a purple that will work out for this as well. Um, so if you don't want to use Sharpies, um, the Sharpies are going to be the cheaper way to go. You can get this gel set and use two blue gels and a purple gel as well. That works out just fine. But I am going to use the homemade Sharpie gels just to show you that it can work. Um, each Sharpie is like two bucks or less. So four bucks, I'm not sure how much the film costs. We just kind of had that laying around. I can't imagine it's all that expensive. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is get you some neon paints. This is um, some that I found at a local craft store, uh, Michael's. If you don't know whether or not your paint is going to be neon, after you create one of these, just go down to the craft store with your smartphone, turn on your flashlight with your smartphone, put this over it, and then just kind of shine the light on the different paints and you'll see which ones will fluoresce. So this first image is actually the true black light, the bulb that was screwed into the reflective holder, um, shining on a piece of paper with the fluorescent paint. And the second shot is the flash with the homemade filters using the transparent paper and the Sharpies. As you can see, they are really close. You could probably adjust the colors perfectly in post-processing, um, but even then, the colors are pretty much close and dead on. So as you can see, this is a very cool way and a very cheap way to turn any off-the-camera flash into a black light. With this, you can go out and create amazing images. I hope to see some of your guys' images, and I'll see you soon. Bye.